Massachusetts just recently passed a bill that legally allows birth mothers to sell their biological children? Let's talk about it. So according to liveaction.com, on June 12th, the Massachusetts House unanimously voted to pass a bill that will legally allow mothers to sell their newborn babies and base parenthood solely on intent. What do you think about this? Now, currently in Massachusetts, Massachusetts allows for paid surrogacy and traditional surrogacy. Though through traditional surrogacy, the parents need to adopt the children at birth. This would require a background check, and at least one of the parents needs to be biologically related to the child. Now I know one thing you're thinking. Could this be possibly opening the door to more potential abuse? In my opinion, yes. But according to the article, no. The article states that the laws that are currently in the adoption system, whatever you call it, prevent abuse. Um, from somebody that was in the adoption system, I wasn't abused by my family. I had a loving, well, I have a loving family, but I've heard of many stories. Many of my, what do you call it, like adoption friends kind of thing, they weren't so lucky. I like to think that all the kids that were in the DCF system or that are in the DCF system, that, you know, we got this unspoken unseen connection and you know um we were definitely we were definitely trafficked kids definitely are being trafficked it's um like you know there's certain levels i was at a very low level and there are kids that are currently in the system that are at very high levels it's very traumatic at you know at the point of abuse at the point of suicide or they get murdered by their um, foster parents or adoptive parents. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. So could this law open up the door for more abuse? Yes. Have you heard of Adam Stafford King? If you haven't, go Google his name. He is a veterinarian and a dog show host, and he was just recently arrested because he was planning on sexually abusing the baby boy that him and his partner were bringing into this world via surrogacy. According to the Federalist, most surrogacy laws restrict surrogacy, surrogacy contracts, I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly, to cases in which the surrogate is unrelated to the child. However, the new bill will allow the biological mother to receive some kind of compensation to sell her biological child. You know, money. You know, money. Now the Massachusetts House voted to repeal section 4B under the chapter 46, the Massachusetts law. This is in regards to artificial insemination, which originally states that any child that was born to a married woman as a result of artificial insemination with the acceptance of her husband shall be considered the legitimate child between the mother and her husband. This would no longer be considered true under H47672. If this bill gets passed, and it probably will because we know Massachusetts, a woman can become pregnant naturally and then claim that the child was a surrogate and get money for it without the father's or the partner's knowing. Yeah. A woman can choose to match with a couple and will not even require like a legal background check. Yeah. Yeah. This bill is currently on its way to the Senate to be voted on.